Okay, so we're looking at exercise 11b from the first year mechanics textbook. And question one, we're given four expressions for um, displacements and asked to find expressions for velocity and acceleration. So question A is um, displacement is 40. So, so 40 to the power of 4 and then minus 1 over t, which I'm going to write as t to the power of minus 1 because to find velocity I need to differentiate. So you're given um, displacement and you're asked to find velocity, that's going to be the first differential, so 16t and then I'm going to multiply by the minus 1 and reduce the power by 1. And then acceleration is the velocity differentiated, so that's the second differential of um, displacement, so we're differentiating for a second time, oh sorry, I've got my power of 3 there. Um, so we're differentiating for a second time, so I'm going to multiply by 3, reduce the power by 1, I'm going to multiply by minus 2, and reduce the power by 1. Okay, so for b, so again, when I write b down, I'm going to rewrite that second term as um, t to the minus 2, because that's the form I want it in to be able to differentiate. So I'm going to multiply by 3, which will cancel the third, and reduce the power by 1. I'm going to multiply by minus 2 and reduce the power by 1. So acceleration is the second differential of displacement. So I'm just going to differentiate the velocity. So I'm going to multiply by the 2 and reduce the power by 1. I'm going to multiply by the minus 3 and reduce the power by 1. Okay, and then so for C, again, as I write it out, I'm going to expand those brackets out. So I've got 3t squared times 2t. I've got 3t squared times 5. I've got minus 1 times 2t and minus 1 times 5. So velocity will be the differential of that. So 18t squared plus 30t minus 2 and acceleration will be the differential of that, so 16t, sorry, what we're we talking about, 30, 60, try that again, 30, 60, plus 30, and then finally, so for d, I'm going to need to cancel through by 2t, so then I'm going to do that as I write it out, so 3t to the power of 4 over 2t, so that's going to give me 3 over 2, and then t to the 4 divided by t is t cubed, then minus 2t cubed over 2t, or well, the 2s will cancel, and t cubed over t will give me t squared. And then I've got 5 over 2t, um, but again, I'm going to write to the, the fact that it's t at the bottom of the fraction, I'm going to write it as t to the minus 1, so that I'm ready to differentiate. So velocity will be the differential of that, so 9 over 2t squared, when I multiply by the 3, um, oh, which one to roll by mistake? Oh, for goodness sake, sorry. Right, get there in the end. Okay, so uh, 9 over 2t squared. Okay, then I'm multiplying by 2, and I'm multiplying by minus 1, and reducing the power by 1, and then acceleration is going to be that differentiated. So when I multiply by the 2, it's going to cancel the half, and the power will reduce just to the power of 1. The minus 2t will differentiate to minus 2, and then I'm going to multiply by minus um, 2, so that's going to make it positive and cancel the half, and reduce the power by 1. Okay, so let's just check those solutions. Right, so on their solutions, whenever they've ended up with a negative power, so if we just check our into, if the acceleration is correct, then the rest of it must be 2. Yeah, probably. So they've rewritten theirs back as fractions. You don't need to do that unless you know it clearly asks you to do that in the question. So whenever they've ended up with a negative power, they've written it back like that. But you're, you're fine to just leave it as a negative power.